I'm Ian Layton. Here's another really popular item that we sell. Uh, we sell a lot of these, and it's called a safe tie clip. Um, and the reason we use these is it's a good compromise between tying a horse solid and having a horse get away. So if you've got a horse that doesn't tie up well, um, I, I, these these they're not a magic bullet like they 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 are a tool to assist you to overcome that problem. Um, if you watch our we've got a, a for sale a, a video that teaches you everything that you need to know about how to either teach a horse to tie up or to rehabilitate a horse that has a pulling problem and it's one of the biggest issues that I see with horsemanship around the place would be tying up float loading or trailer loading uh, and picking up their feet and standing for the farrier so you know um, but that video in particular it teaches you how to go about teaching a horse to tie up uh, until you can tie it up solid um, but I like to use these for a few reasons and one it, it takes a panic out of things if your horse sets back and he's not solid when they when they hit the end of that rope if they're solid they just panic and pull and they'll shake their head and their back legs under them and they half kill themselves. And people say, oh, well, I use a collar uh, to fix that. But a collar is okay, but it doesn't protect your horse's back legs. And when they're pulling that hard with their legs down underneath them, they can really hurt themselves, so especially horses that are young and not fit. And, you know, so I, I try and avoid that. That's how I was taught to do it when I was younger. Um, we used to use a hessian bag around the back of their neck with a rock in the corners and, and then tie a rope round so the rocks would stop the rope coming off the bag and tie them up to a post like that with a rope running through their holder. And let them pull till they, they worked out that stepping forward, you know, um, is how they get a release or some re relief from that. Uh, I don't do it that way now. Um, you know, that was a common method. It still is a common method of doing it, but I don't do it that way now. Um, I don't want my horse to pull while he's tied solid. I value him too much for that, or anyone else's for that matter. Now, I've been using these since, uh, pretty much since they first come out. I don't know how many years that is now, but we've sold an awful lot of them. Um, and, and I use a method to teach a horse to learn how to step up without it ever being a panic or a pull on a straight line. And and they get to where they would never pull, you know. Uh, what I like about this is I can adjust this. So I can adjust up the, the tension on the rope until it's almost a solid tie, you know. Um, or as good as a solid tie if I squeeze it up tight enough. But that's one of the big attractions of this for me was the fact that I had that, you know, I could adjust that in increments as my horse gets better until it's pretty much a solid tie. I put it on in the horse float too um, because it will let the rope slip through, you know, so if I want to put, say that's the horse on that end, if I want to tie my horse up, I just fold my rope in half and I slide it through the, the ring and, and just run it over the top, sit it down in that slot there and then, I, as I said, I can adjust up the amount of drag on that rope. So, you know, um, it allows the horse to, to take a little rope. They're still uncomfortable, but it's not like a solid pull. They won't hurt themselves. And they'll learn to step up if you can help them. Um, and that's all explained in the video. So, you know, it's not a magic cure or anything. You still need to train your horse. Uh, but helping them is a lot better than letting them work it out for themselves. Okay, so yeah, I use that when I put my horses in the float too. So I'll take them in and just flip them up on the wall there. And if I had a horse that slipped and went down or something like that, he wouldn't be hanging by his head. So better than a solid tie in there. 
Some people use bale twine, you know, and they use bale twine to tie up outside the float too. I don't think there's anything safe about a horse getting away. Um, when I was young, I saw a kid in a pram run over by a, an escaped thoroughbred that had pulled off from where it was tied up and panicked and run through a crowd at a show. Um, it didn't hurt the kid too badly, thank God, but it's never really left me. And people tie up to bale twine and say, well, it's safer. Well, it's not safer. Um, what's safe is teaching your horse to tie up and teaching your horse not to pull away and you know that it's okay. Uh, some people don't practice that enough at home. And you know, so they, oh, I've had people say to me, oh, isn't it a bit cruel leaving a horse tied up for an hour or two? You know, especially if you're doing it every second day or every day, you know, just depending on, on what I'm doing with the horse at the time. But if my horses are in work, they get a fair bit of time tied up. What's not fair is never doing that at home and then taking your horse to a show or to something like that and expecting him to stand next to the float for two hours in the afternoon, either waiting for your turn or, or, or after you've finished while you're having coffee with your friends. So, you know, that he hasn't been prepared for that and that's a little unfair in my eyes. So I like my horses to learn to tie up and relax. And, you know, usually once I've had them in work for a day or two, they just go to sleep when I tie them up. Uh, and that's pretty nice. You know, you can't get more relaxed than asleep. So, you know, I'll show you how this works. The other thing I just want to mention what I think of it is if you've got something that allows that to slip through it means that something that's going to break has to be weaker than what it takes to pull that through okay so it means that if I haven't got a dedicated tie up spot or it's the side of the float or something that's not you know unbreakable um, this can help a little with safety there too so if a horse pulls back it doesn't break doesn't break whatever it's tied to um, you know I don't want that to happen and, and uh, you know I've, I've known a few people that have been badly hurt and one one fatally hurt uh, they tied their horse to a rail or something and the horse pulled back and the rail pulled off and flew around and hit them in the head and that's a that's a dangerous situation so you know um, I, I could trust any of my horses to tie up like that but um, you know you, I, I probably wouldn't just because that's in my memory and uh, you know I, I'd be yeah aware of that as a safety issue anyway uh, enough of the dreary stuff I'm gonna and I hook this up on the side of the float here. I like to tie my horses up higher than their wither. We got points there, but when I got the float made, I got extra ones put up here. I like to tie them a little higher, and then Liz can hang a hay bag there or something if, if she wants to do that. So, you know, and I just let that go on the ground, and the horse might pour it or something, but it doesn't, doesn't make any difference. And I just want to show you if I can pull that through, nothing can break. But a horse will pull that out and he'll step up. Um, you know, and, and if you can teach him with a bit of help, it would be really rare. Some of the first time horses that are, are rehabilitation horses are used to pulling back, they might get out close to the end of that rope before I have to send them forward or before I get to send them forward. But they're not in a full blown panic like they are if they're tied solid, but it would be really rare for a horse to pull that out further than what I just did. And he's still tied up, he hasn't gained anything. If you're going to adjust it up, just always unclip it and readjust it, you know, so that um, you don't get your fingers caught in it or get yourself in a, in a bind somehow, you know, so it doesn't take long. Readjust it. I could tighten that up just a little there and see if that's a little, oh, I'm on the horse end, see if that's a little harder to pull out. I'll tighten it up a little more, 
You know, I've seen other gadgets where you can run the rope round again, but you haven't got that incremental tighten that up until it's, you know, now we get taking a little bit to pull that through, you know, so, um, and, and that adjustment doesn't change some of those other gadgets, so you can put the rope round a second time and that sort of thing, and it falls out, or you, you just don't have a, an incremental adjustment, I really like to have that, so, that's our safe tie clip, to me, as I said, I've been using these for a lot of years now, they're, uh, they're the best option I've come up with, uh, what I, you know, from what I've been able to find. Uh, they're on our website, so if you go to www.inlatenhorsemanship.com, uh, you'll find these, and they're uh, a fantastic tool, and reasonably priced. Thank you.